So if x times y is not equal to 0, which means that neither of them is 0, is y over x greater than 0? In order for y over x to be greater than 0, y itself has to be a bigger number than 0, or a bigger number than x. Um, and they both need to be both negative or both positive. If one is negative and one is positive, then it's the other way around. Um, so it either needs to, or actually it's, y has to have a greater absolute value than x for y over x to be greater than zero, and they need to have the same sign. So statement one tells us that y is equal to x. If y is equal to x, anything over itself is equal to one, so this is sufficient to tell us, yes, it is greater than zero, so we can get rid of b, c, and e. Statement two tells us that x is equal to the opposite of the opposite of y. Well, the opposite of the opposite of y is just y itself, so this one is really just saying y equals x, the same thing that statement one already told us. If the two are equal, you have a number over itself, and that is one, and that is greater than zero. So each statement, is alone, each statement alone is sufficient to answer the question.